Apologies for the technical difficulties. Today I'm excited to share with you guys the very first thing I mounted to my Uptop Overland roof rack. Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. Hope you're having a fabulous day. It is Friday, the weekend is right around the corner. Hope you have some fun things planned for your Tacoma this weekend. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're up to date on everything related to Tacomas. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Where did I get this awesome Tacoma Holic hat? Well, friendo. Friendo. I'm gonna hook you up. I do have a few left in the Tacoma Holic store, linked right down below. Go ahead and pick one up today. All right, guys, today I will be going over this weird contraption, which is in fact an awning mount made directly by Uptop Overland. You can grab this and of course, plenty of other mounting accessories for your roof rack from them on uptopoverland.com. Link right down below, go ahead and check them out. When you purchase these, you do get a pair of these. I have the other one already installed. I'm just gonna show you this one in person before slapping it back up on the rack and showing you it in action. Now these are 100% aluminum, so you don't have to worry about them rusting, uh, being exposed to the elements all the time. And I did get mine, it was powder coated black from Up Top Overland. They mount simply using, again, all stainless steel hardware provided by Up Top Overland. You can see you get four bolts, four washers, and four of these doohickeys, which I'm not really sure what they're called, but they are super useful. Half circle on one side, flat on the other. With a slot right there that the bolt will attach to a small ball bearing on the back. You actually, let me hop up on top. I'll show you actually how these get used. So up here, looking at the side of the channel where the awning mount actually slides in and mounts, you can see I have one of them already installed. These half circle pieces, which again, I don't know what these are called. If you know, please comment below because I'll probably pick up some more of these for the rack, super useful. Because these literally just slide right in. You don't have to take off the side of these to install it. You just pop it in where you want it to go. See if I can do this one-handed. Of course not. Failure. Okay, switch into two-handed mode using my little tripod. So these do slide right in the channel. And just sort of hook them in. I don't know why it's being so stubborn just because I'm recording. As you can see, as you push it in, you just sort of slide it upwards and it curves in. Then you can take a pick or something small like this and just center that in the bolt hole and line that up where you need to go. And then the awning bracket just slides right over that. And this is where you take that pick and line that up with the hole with the slot in the outside of the awning bracket so you can line up the bolt and get this secured down. Once you actually get this slid over the load bars up there and bolted down, if you flip it to the side, so this face right here is the side that is facing the exterior of the truck, and you can see the long slot right there is compatible with most, if not all, probably all awnings, certainly with my ARB 1250 awning that I'll be mounting to it, which seems like it fits perfectly right there. I was considering doing like a longer one, but I didn't really like the way it overhung. So I like the way the 1250 fits right there on the side. This was the same one I had right here off the back of my truck. And then of course you have plenty of room to adjust it up and down as needed so you can clear the doors. But I think I had mine before all the way lowered down and it still cleared the doors fine. And of course the lower you have the awning the less like drag and wind noise and whistling it's going to make when you're driving around so that is a nice feature. Obviously you can use the awning mounts on any of the load bars since it does just sort of straddle the load bar and overlap the side panels right here. Personally, I like to use the widest points as possible because I feel like in like a high wind situation or, you know, driving at speed on the highway, the awning is less likely to be, you know, doing those little micro vibrations, especially if you're talking about a longer awning. So I personally use the very front and the very back. And one thing I wanted to show you real quick, this is the front one and it did slide on perfectly. It is sort of a pain to adjust the bolts down here. You just have to get like an extension on your ratchet just to reach the bolts and get them tightened down but you know that is what it is when you have the fairing installed of course if you're using any of the middle ones not going to be an issue because you have plenty of space on either side to tighten down all the bolts when i went to install the rear awning bracket on that back load bar you can see this is how the corner usually is just a rounded right angle but i found that the inside of this actually hit up there i'll show you in just a second so i just took a grinder here it is right here. Again, this was just a rounded right angle. I lopped it off at 45 degrees and then just sort of etched out a groove up here because I found that using that rear load bar, it was hitting. And slide it over so you guys can see. Now it fits perfectly. 
Hopefully the shadows aren't too bad, but before it was hitting the top of the bracket that mounts the sidebars actually to the awning and sort of holds everything. It was hitting right here where my finger is, if you can see that. So that's why I just put a little notch in it so it clears that. And again, that's only if you're using the back load bar. Even using the front load bar right there, that wasn't an issue. And of course, not gonna be an issue with any of the middle load bars. So if you do wanna use the rear load bar, to get that, I guess, the widest stance as possible to mount your awning and make it as secure as possible, you might have to notch that bottom piece right there, but no big deal, and I just slap some paint on it. Good to go. And one last thing, just to point out to you guys to make your install of your awning to your up top overland bed rag just a little bit easier. I found this out the hard way, but you can see right here, all of these awnings sort of had this double channel where, you know, the, the bolt slides in the channel and it holds it secure while you tighten it down. So you have one on the top, one on the bottom. And I found out I already had my awning brackets mounted up there. And here we are at the top looking at it. You can see it mounts in perfectly, whether you want to use the hole at the top or have both of the bolts in the channel right here. And you can easily tighten the one on the top. But when you're trying to tighten the one on the bottom, obviously there's not a lot of space down in there. So it's a thousand times easier to mount your awning to your awning brackets when they're off the rack. And I mounted mine as low as possible without any clearance issues like opening and closing the door. Mount the awning to the bracket when it's off the truck so you can tighten down both of those bolts. Then actually slide both of the brackets over and tighten those down. Otherwise, you're really not going to be able to tighten that bottom bolt down in there. One bolt on each side might be enough, but personally I don't want to risk that driving at higher speeds or in higher wind conditions. You want to have the awning mounted to your rack as securely as possible. And whenever you get the awning bracket in place and you have those doohickey pieces, I don't know what they're called, lined up with the holes, all you do, you take the, the bolt and the washer, an H4 hex bolt bit or Allen key with a small ratchet. You can't get this started by hand. You just screw it in there and tighten it down. Thousand geese flying overhead, of course. Mine. You can hand tighten this. You don't have to worry about holding the back because obviously it's locked in the channel. Then just take your H4 bit and hand tighten that and you're good to go. Just two on each side and this thing is solid. And there's the ARB 1250 awning fully bolted down to the up top overland awning mounts with a quick shot from behind for all the hardware. All Again, all stainless steel for the bolts, washers, and those little pieces on the inside. All right, everybody, that will do it for this video. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, comment below if you liked it. And even if you didn't like it, it's okay to lie and still give it a thumbs up. Also, comment below, let me know what you're doing this weekend Tacoma related. As always, thanks so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy your upcoming weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Rising.